Hey my lovelies, welcome back to my channel, hope you're all doing well, welcome to my new subs, thank you so much for subbing. Um, so today's reading is messages from your spirit guides as well as like, you know, hopefully some guidance from your spirit guides. So for group one you have the North Star card, for group two you have Angel Rose and for group three you have Dragon Trainer. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't, don't force anything. If you feel like there's no message here for you, choose another pile and don't forget if any anybody comes through, they're just energies, okay? And um, I'll see you at your groups. Hey, group one. So if you chose the North Star card, okay? So the message is from your spirit spiritual team here group one is acceptance okay this is what this card means so basically what's what your spirit guides are saying is not everything can actually be fixed or changed okay we can't control things sometimes things are out of our hands you know if it's like trying to change someone's mind for example people have free will there's nothing you can actually do no matter how much you try and convince that person and uh Spirit is actually asking you here, do not pursue something that is not working because that shows maturity, okay? Sometimes, even though it really hurts, even if it's not working out, you know, it could be a job, it could be a relationship, it could be anything like that. Sometimes it's just best to let it go, okay? And um, Spirit is saying, if you can do this, it will actually save you a lot of pain and a lot of disappointment, so let's have a look, group one, what's going on here? Because I was going to start off with oracle cards and I thought to myself, do you know what, yours is a bit different. Maybe the other groups can start off with the oracle cards, but I'm actually going to start off with tarot with you guys first. Catch my breath. I've had to run up the bloody stairs. So we're using the Van Gogh, Van Gogh, Van Gogh, everybody says it, di says it different, uh, tarot card. So tap me into group one and... Messages from Group 1 Spirit Guides. What is this all about, this North Star? Oh, that was quick, Group 1. Seven of Pentacles. Tell me about this Seven of Pentacles. Five of Wands. <clears throat> Four of Wands. Eight of Wands. Wow, a lot of Wands. Hmm. Judgment. Well, it's a wake up call guys and an ending clarify this five of wands and four of wands for me please spirit for group one four of cups five of cups six of cups okay this is some kind of hmm, I don't know whether it's a look there might be a couple of mixed messages here so you guys take what resonates because we even have the nine of pentacles now I'm looking at it, it could be a relationship it could be something that you may have started up something and I know right let's go with the the work aspects of things first and then I'll go to because we, we have a few cups right so let's stick with the work side of it first so what I'm seeing here for you group one is you may have started a job like a little project for yourself you know a little startup business and that and you've been working really really hard and you're not really seeing the fruits of your labor basically that's the first first card that's come out and you've tried to have a lot of patience you've tried to persevere with it and it's just not working out in your favor okay and you've had a lot of of this internal monologue going on for yourselves or maybe you're putting yourself down maybe you're thinking that you know um i'm not good enough that you know when we start putting ourselves down because we think we're, we're, we're crap, okay? We all do it, but that's not the case. You are at war with yourself here in regards to whether to carry on, whether to give up. Now, I feel like this is more to do with work not relationship here group one because the eight of wands is communication as well there's something here this is really random but then i'm seeing relationship as well so i don't know whether you guys have got two things going on 
or whether it's a mixture for, for the group, you know, for the collective here. Because what I am seeing here is some of you want to take your relationship to the next level. OK, you're wanting to get married or get engaged or moved in to move in together. And you've been communicating this and you've been let down. You know, there may be arguments here in regards to what it is that you want and you may be pushing for it. And, you know, sometimes it can turn into nagging and and you've been let down and sometimes this is what spirit is saying sometimes don't push for something because you could end up being disappointed you know sometimes people don't want to get married you know they don't want to move in with their partner and this is what you maybe need to sit and sit with and think through okay my dog gets on my nerves chihuahuas <laughs> but i said there was arguments here you know and i'm hearing my dog barking i don't know what the hell she's barking at but anyway um There is a situation here, either relationship-wise or, or career-wise, guys, judgment is the final call. It's finally you waking up to what it is that you really want, you know. Is your partner not giving that to you? What is it that you want to do? Do you want to be with this person and accept how it is? Or do you want to move on and close that chapter and move on and find someone that is going to give that to you? But I am seeing something here as well, and it's not, not, I'm not having a go at your group one. Sometimes, maybe, well, oh, this is going to sound really bad no matter how I say it, so I'm just going to say it, okay? Trying to make someone feel guilty for not giving you what you want is not really the like the way to go about things, because it can make the situation worse. You're not happy, you're fed up, you're bored. So, like I said, it can be your career that you're fed up. It's not going anywhere. You're not getting anything out of it. It's not gaining any attention. It's not gaining any traction. The same thing with a relationship here. Literally what I just said. Five of Cups is when we just feel so, so defeated, okay? We, we don't feel loved. We feel like we're being rejected constantly. And this is what I'm seeing here. And I feel like you're you're trying to force this issue this situation and it's it's not it's not there's no movement here really i don't see any what is this six of cups and eight of pentacles i mean some of you if you're not if you split split up with someone and you're waiting you know maybe you're communicating backwards and forwards and you're hoping that you guys can reconnect you know reconciliation maybe this person is not really wanting to reconnect and you know maybe you're you're really pushing it that sounds so bad let's have a look what is this six of cups and eight of pentacles what is this six of cups and eight of pentacles you know it's like spirit saying here to you guys you can either stay in the situation as it is or you can finally decide for yourself what do i want you know what is it that i want knight of wands king of cups and the queen of cups so we have a couple here but one of someone is immature there's something here that So now this is going into a relationship kind uh, side of things now because someone here is very, very immature. Someone here is not really fully invested in the relationship, even though we've got the, the couple here, you know. These two love each other very much. And this could be you and your partner and you share a lot of memories with this person. And you've worked really, really hard on this relationship. But the problem I'm seeing here is this Knight of Wands. So we finally have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces and Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. What is this Knight of Wands? I mean, it even could be your energy here that literally you have one foot in the door and one foot out the door. You know, you're ready to, to go after something more, you know, meaningful. Queen of Pentacles. What is this Knight of Wands? What is this Knight of Wands? 
my goodness, what is this Knight of Wands spirit? Oh, bloody hell. Let's do that again. Okay. <laughs> King of Wands now in reverse. Wheel of Fortune. The Nine of Wands. And the Six of Pentacles. This Knight of Wands, I feel like it may be your partner. Because the King of Wands has come out. Now, we King of Wands can be very promiscuous. The King of Wands in reverse. Any, any court cards in reverse can come out as be seen as someone who is not faithful. But it may not literally be physical cheating. It may literally be um, this person's not really faithful to you 100%. You, you know what I mean? When someone, like I said, is, has got one foot out the door, one foot in the door in a relationship. So it's not being 100% faithful to you, not giving you what you want. Because this King of Wands in rever reverse can be very abusive, very rude, very controlling, can be a bit of a womanizer as well. And you've been wounded in this relationship. You know, you're giving it your all here when it comes to this person. But Spirit is saying to you, when are you going to see your self worth when it comes to this relationship? You let this person trample all over your boundaries here, group one, and you allow it. This is what Spirit's saying, and the Wheel of Fortune is taking back taking back um, that control, taking charge of our destiny. Do I want to continue in this relationship, or should I be with someone that sees my value? Is It's going to be equal give and take, you know, but you keep holding on, hoping things are going to get better, hoping things are going to change, you know, because like I said, you've invested so much time into this one person and you're not taking a look at you know who you're not taking a look at the the whole maybe you have taken a look at the whole picture you're wanting this person to change and they're not willing to change that's where i'm going with this but because of you know what is it your spirit guides are saying here with this four of pentacles is screaming at me this is a question you need to ask yourself that's coming through from them what are you actually holding on to? Is it the fact that you've built a life with this person? You know, maybe you have a home with them. You've got all, you know, all your bits and pieces in the home. You know, you share cars, you know, finances. And you, you've built this life with this person. Is that what you're holding on to? The, the, the financial, the materialistic um, aspect of the relationship? Because that's what I'm seeing here. And this is what your spirit guides are seeing here, you know. Because... There's not really many cups, group one. And giving up that security and that stability with someone, it can be really, really scary. Trust me, being there, done that, it is so scary. So this is what your spirit guides are asking you to please, you know, make a decision here. Things will get better for you. I mean, if you've started a little business... Things may have literally failed in that aspect of things as well, group one, because you're so invested in this person over here that your <clears throat> business or whatever has taken a back seat because you're more worried about what is going on with your person. So it's like I see here with group one, you guys are so, um, what's the word? Is it unselfish? You're just so giving. It's like you're so loyal and <clears throat> forgiving. And you put this person first above your wants and needs. And this is where I feel like your spirit guides are saying, what are you doing here? Why are you trying to force this? Trying to get this person to change? You're just hurting yourself. And that's that main card right here. You're literally hurting yourself by doing this. But, you know, like I say, we all have free will. We do what we got to do. I want to get you some of these now. So let's see what else. Uh, you what other messages are coming through from spirits. So you've got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well, guys. So what, what other messages are here for group one from their spirit guides? Eagle foresight. Believe in the magic of your journey because destiny is part of the path made by your choices and dreams i mean come on group one look at that 
all it yeah <laughs> the choice is yours you've got the wheel of fortune here it's all up to you whether you want to make a change okay Some of you may, this may have already happened, you may have decided to already leave this person. So you may be on this journey of doubting yourself and maybe wanting to reconnect with this person. This is for some of you, okay? And this is a mistake here is what Spirit's saying because with this card here it's saying, believe in the magic of your journey. So let's get a couple more. So messages for group one from the Spirit Guides. Twins Harmony, that's a beautiful card. In the chapters of life, the most beautiful moments are those that celebrate the harmony of the hearts and unity of spirit. So, you know, I'm picking up this card is more about twin flame energy here. Because if you feel like this is your twin flame, yes, we do have the twin flame card there. Um... Sometimes, we, you know, sometimes we think there are twin flame and sometimes they can end up being a false twin flame because I've said this before, a twin flame does not abuse their partner. They do not cheat. They do not lie. They do not steal. They do not do all that stuff that comes with like karmics. And then you have the tower of de um, development. So luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. You're prepared and success is just around the corner now. Look at this. Enjoy the journey. Yes, it may be painful. There is a twin flame energy right here. And the tower and the development, you know, because the tower can be really positive in readings. Um, it's something that's unexpected. But are you willing to take that opportunity here? Because Spirit says success is literally around the corner for you guys. Let me, where are they? Where did I put them? Tell me about this twin harmony here. What is this message, Spirit, in this tower? The Five of Pentacles. Tell me more about the tower and this twin harmony for group one. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you see, guys, this is literally what I just said to you. This could this could literally be keeping you stuck, this relationship situation ship, because I'm going to show you this card on the back of the deck in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there because I want you guys to see it. And what I just said to you guys about basically this person is not your twin flame. And this is literally what you could be missing out on is this relationship that you've been seeking, what you've been wanting. And you're trying to, you know, you're trying to maybe change and mould this person into the person that you want. And they're not willing to change. Like I said, people have free will. You're never going to change this person, group one. I'm really sorry to say it, but I'm not going to beat around the bush because all you kept, all you keep getting is rejection. This person doesn't really show you any love. They don't show you any emotional support. You know, maybe even down to the point, like I said, that it's affected your your work, you know, your your career here as well. So, um, you're keeping yourself stuck in this, this situation with this Page of Pentacles in reverse. This is a bad choice. Sometimes when we take that leap, we take that chance, we have the guts to finally leave. This is who you were, who you, who you're supposed to be meeting, okay? In the future, you may have already met them. So this is an energy here that's keeping you stuck. And on the back of the deck, what leads to this? Once you can literally gain a different perspective and look at things differently and see how many sacrifices you've made for this one person here which is a lot, by the way, this is what it leads to. The Ace of Cups, the love, the relationship, the respect, everything that you want in a relationship is right there for your taking, but it's whether you've got the guts. There's that judgment again. Time to wake up, time to realise 
you know, what do I want? And there's that world again. You literally had the same cards with these cards, um, tarot cards right there. Because once you wake up and you make that decision, okay, that final decision, and you, you know that, that nail in a coffin here, and you close this chapter, you're... It's like I'm hearing here, group one, the world is your oyster, your spirit guides are saying here. There's a there's a whole world out there, there's so much more out there, but you're just not seeing it because you're so invested into this one person here that has affected quite a lot of your life, okay? Like, not just emotionally, it, mentally, I can go on. You know, these two are about lessons being learned. I mean, and it's like, how many lessons do you want to learn, really? And also, you know, as you can see it as well, group, as, you know, you can take this or leave it or whatever. Sometimes when you meet someone like this and you've gone through this sort of relationship with someone, you then know when you meet the next person you're never going to want to put up with that again. That's not what you're going to accept anymore going forward. Also, it helps you, put, you know, spot the red flags. I mean, these cards are red as well. This person is a red flag. They're all walking red flag. Sorry to say it. Let's get some messages from your spirit guides as well here. So, what messages? Okay, I didn't even get it out. But anyway, ground yourself. Being distracted, unfocused, tired, irritated, impatient are all the signs that you are ungrounded. Now is the time to become centered and allow spirit to help you ground yourself and reconnect with the divine soul. So, okay, you may have lost that connection to your spirit guides because of this taking up so much time and energy. And you may be in the energy of feeling very irritated, very, you know, what this card basically said. So let's get a few more from your spirit guides. So you have receive. You are kind and loving soul who constantly reaches out and gives. Thank you. This is literally what I just said. And your, your spirit guides are literally confirming it here, group one. This is like literally what I was trying to say to you that you guys are so... I can't even think of the freaking... I said unselfish, okay? I, there is another word for it. Maybe you guys can leave it in the comments down below because I can't seem to think of it. But look, look at what your spirit guides are saying here. You... And I feel like this is why this person takes advantage of you. And you may find that you attract quite a lot of people like this that take advantage of your goodness and your kindness. And that might need to stop as well. So anyway... So you are a kind and loving soul who constantly reaches out and gives to others. But now it's time for you to learn how to graciously, graciously receive. Just as with the ebb and flow of the tides, the art of giving and receiving is the natural law and order of the universe. Right. So it is now your time, group one, to receive. But because there is some a blockage here, you're not receiving it. It's like maybe spirit is not one. Your spirit guides are not wanting to give it to you yet because this energy here can affect your gifts. Okay, that that spirit is waiting to give. Group one. So strength, strength comes from many sources. Staying strong brings confidence, conviction and a balanced body, mind and soul. Spirit has its own unique and beautiful way of replenishing your soul with strength on a continual continual basis. You're never really alone as we're always with you. Okay, so basically your spirit guides are giving you strength here, okay, that you're not alone. And then you have listen. You will be willing to listen if you want to really understand someone. Now is not the time to be offering advice, but to be a compassionate listener. To listen fully and intently means to pay attention, not to just what's being said, but to what lies beneath the words. Right, okay. I feel like this is literally, right, yo. Guys, now, sorry to say it, but I'm going to say it. <laughs> I always say it. I feel like this is me giving you guys the message okay because there are sometimes i'll get comments like the other day i've got another one about it you know and when i look at right when i look at the actual reading 
those people that leave those snotty comments and call me crap and what have you they don't want to hear what I'm being what's being said to them so basically if I'm telling them that your person's moved on they're in love blah 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 I, you know these people come forward and and they they have an opinion about the reading okay because some people don't want to listen they don't want to hear it they want to be told the opposite and I'm never going to do that so now you guys could literally be sitting here right now and this is not all of you but I'm sure there is a small number of you right now sitting here going what are you want about you know this person's not like that blah, 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 blah. so it's like you're literally making excuses for this person again so this is for the small number of you that are sitting there literally ba basically bad mouthing me while i'm doing this reading okay <laughs> so i'm just going to be really blunt with you your spirit guides are now saying to you listen to what is being said to you right now but it's whether you want to listen or not you know tarot is all about advice and guidance and um you do with that what you want i've said it in the past if if like you know in the past when i used to do tarot for myself and that if i listened to my tarot uh, cards i wouldn't have been in the mess messes that i'd got myself into years ago but anyway so i feel like this reading your spirit guides are telling you to please listen and if you're having other readings and you're on YouTube looking at other readings and it's saying the same thing, listen to those tarot readers as well, guys, because that is a really important message. So anyway, um, I do let me move them. <clears throat> I want to get you a message from spirit, like what is haunting you, okay? So messages from group one spirit guides. Oh, oh, oh my god, how much is haunting you, group one? So you have fading words. What once was loud now only whispers. Listen closely, take your heart's advice. And there it is again. It's all this advice. It's that sometimes it's best to listen to our heart instead of our head. Sometimes it's best to listen to the head than our heart. Okay. Spirit's asking you, um, listen closely to what your heart is saying so if your heart is saying to you you know i know i've got to end this i know I've, it's not going anywhere blah 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 listen to those those words okay and then alone together there is a growing distance between you and others reach out to friends right so you literally could have made the mistake of and we've all done this i'm sure well maybe some of you haven't but we've all well i've done it where you tend to forget about your friends and family because you're so focused on the person that you're with and they become your, the centre of your universe and then you look back and you think, what the hell was I even thinking? This person wasn't even worth that. So your, your spirit guides are asking you right now is that if there's anyone you haven't spoken to for a while, um, reach out to them, okay, because they can help you with this. They, I'm sure these people will literally be there for you. You know, if they're good friends, they will not turn you away. So listen to that. And then you've got Luminous Beacon. Let blessings and grace comfort and uplift you now. Stand in the light. Right. There's that blessing again. And then we have Vantage Point. See beyond your current situation to a better future. Breathe in potential. That keeps your spirit guides are literally zoning in on just this one topic here there ain't any other thing that's coming through for your group sometimes you can get multiple messages but your spirit guides are very firm in getting this message across to you guys okay and then you've got frozen whispers listen to the advice and the intuition you once ignored <laughs> heed the wisdom so there it is again, literally what I was just lecturing you guys about, you know, if you've done tarot readings and people may have even said it to you, you know, friends and family and you've not listened, you know, if you're very stubborn, sometimes we don't listen, start listening to those words, okay? So now I am going to get these for the last, actually, no, I want to get you some of these from your spirit guides and then i'm going to get you some charms okay just give a little bit of a, a boost to the reading oh god dizzy oh my goodness hang on guys 
Oh, that was very weird. So whether you guys are experiencing maybe lightheadedness or whatever, because that just came out of nowhere, like, you know, when the room just spins, um, could even be, I don't know, maybe you guys are not sleeping, not eating very well, and you're very lightheaded. So take care of yourselves, okay? Um, no matter how much you are being tested or pushed right now, stand your ground and push it back. Believe in your own integrity. There it is again. <laughs> and self-worth so much that no one can get in the way have your confidence to move forward you can you can and will do this right there it is again guys i said to you when are you going to see your self-worth you're settling for for less here group one and you've been doing it for years now i feel like not just like months years this person does not give you what you deserve. I feel like what this energy does as well now, I'm looking at the King of Cups or the Queen of Cups and then we had the, the King of Wands in reverse. This energy has come through as a love bomber and then we see them being that energy of the King of Wands. So what happens is because you've, Okay, right. Because you've lacked love and attention and affection and, you know, everything that our partner should be giving us and you crave it so much, you're willing to let this person love bomb, bomb you because you're so desperate for their attention and their love. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying that out of being nasty or anything. This This is literally what this energy is doing here. But you are worth so much more, group one. I mean, I'm going to only get a couple more because your spirit guides are just on the same track here. Like, not saying anything else, really. Whatever you have been putting off, don't pr procrastinate any longer. Tackle that long overdue project. You will feel better once you begin. Start with one thing at a time. Thoughts and ideas not acted upon are just laying in wait. You can do this. Now, is it that business that I was talking about? Is it that you've just pushed that to the side because this is your main focus? So messages from, okay, take the top one. Trust the way you are being prepared for your blessings. In order to receive, you have to be ready to receive. Once again, things are going through now and not, um, things that are going through now are not random. Trust the flow of the universe. You've had that about three times now, group um, one. Right, let's end with some charms from your spirit guides, messages. Um from Route 1 Spirit Guides. That was quick. Wow. Sun is all about healing, happiness, blessings, good health. Wow. So you've got happiness, success, clarity, and divine masculine. And there it is again. So there, there could literally be a divine masculine in the works, waiting in the, you know, the wings, waiting to come forward. That's going to make you very happy. Handcuffs. You've got feeling powerless, being held back, loss of freedom, overly possessive behaviour. Now that King of Wands, when they're in reverse, is very, very possessive as well. So, you know, I suppose maybe this energy is like you do as you're told. You know, I can do as I do, but you do as you're told. But then this literally could be you just feel really powerless and being held back. And this is what I'm saying. You're being held back from all these blessings, all these good things that should be coming to you. Because spirit will not give them to the person if they're with a certain energy like this. Because they're not supposed to be given the gifts that you are being given. Oh, wow. So look at this, guys. You're... you're um, you're meeting your, your, I can see you're meeting your twin flame or your soulmate here, your counterpart. This has clarified this card right here because you've got um, divine feminine, you've got divine masculine right here. But it's, it's being held hostage basically by these handcuffs. So you've got feminine energy, Venus, a woman plays a role, divine feminine. more for you
so you've got steering wanting control in the driver's seat road trip changing direction there it is again so this is your life this is your destiny you are the one that is steering where it goes like i said the wheel of fortune it's all up to you basically it's about taking control and then oh wow magic spell work manifesting magical powers and rituals so you've got a very you guys could literally be very powerful manifestors maybe it's just been blocked by this situation that you're in right now um you you know could have magical powers maybe do a bit of good spell work guys you know bring in that love and that luck that you want but stick with the good good spell work so let's get you an angel number group one 5656 angel of intuition hanel so hanel heightens your your innate senses trust your insights lean on your perceptive abilities and always honor your inner instinct insight perception and and instinct so this energy you know you may have a blockage at the moment group one with your intuition as well so maybe this angel is trying to help you with that so anyway group one so ask a question any question you want to ask ask now so for group one in december wow be gentle with yourself and enjoy every step you take so you may observe the little things that easily go unnoticed so my loves thank you so much for staying and watching um like i say every time i do appreciate you guys i really really do and if you're new here and you like this content and um, please consider something i'd love to have you and you guys wherever you are you have a beautiful day and also good luck much love hey group two so if you chose the angel rose card it's very interesting these messages coming through from your and uh your spiritual team because she's actually got dried tears on her um face here you guys have gone through a really hard time recently but spirit with this card it's all about a, like gaining a different perspective okay guys so spirit is asking you just lift your head a little bit because the way she's like looking down at that rose it's like you guys are just focused on the pain what you went through and sometimes it can affect our you know it can affect us because that's all we see that's all we feel so what spirit is asking you to do is just lift your head a little bit change your outlook okay and be grateful i know this i know people don't want to hear that but be grateful for the little things. Be grateful for the lesson that you've you've maybe gained through the experience that you've gone through recently. Because, you know, sometimes those lessons do teach us not to repeat them same mistakes again. But let's have a look, group two. There's something here that your spirit guides want you to know. Um, where's your tarot cards? So we are using... What is this called? Hang on, guys. Hang on. Oh, okay. This is very interesting because I'm using this deck for you guys. I'm trying to see what they were called because um, sometimes I do lo lose the boxes or get rid of them, which I shouldn't do, really. This is called the Out of Hand Tarot Deck for your group, which is very interesting considering what I just said. So maybe something is getting out of hand or did get out of hand so let's have a look so tap me into group two please spirit and what does group two spirit guys want group two to know what are the messages and especially about this angel rose card page of pentacles the knight of pentacles what is that sorry guys Oh, it's actually an exercise bike. That person's in the gym. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> just wanted to have a look. Um, oh, 
clarify the Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles here, Spirit. Six of Swords. The Tower. Yeah, you see, guys, your Spirit, you see, the Tower, when we think something is very stable and, you know, things that we're going along a merry old way and everything is great, Spirit is what your Spirit, guys, want you to know that this wasn't a stable situation that you were in. There is something here because I said exercise. Was there something here that was said about your, you know, maybe trigger warning, guys, um, about your weight, about maybe you. So, you know, maybe this person, if it was unfaithfulness or whatever, and they left you for someone else here and you're looking at yourself in a very negative light here and you're, you're spending too much time at the gym and that can be quite unhealthy. I feel like you guys... What Spirit is trying to say here is be very careful how you look after yourself here. Maybe you're overindulging and maybe Spirit saying, you know, get back out there, get walking, get whatever. But also what I'm seeing here as well is what your Spirit guides are asking you to do is, especially with these two cards, maybe look into self-help books, you know, to gain an understanding of, of, you know, what happened. Because I'm not quite seeing yet what happened. So, you know, maybe get some self-help books, write a diary, you know, um, maybe even a little holiday because the Six of Swords could be like going abroad. But Spirit is saying, this had to happen this way, okay? The situation you find yourself in now is, it has to be that way, okay? This is what your Spirit Guides want you to know. Um, so let's have a look. Why, do you, why does it have to be this way? Oh, hang on. Seven of Swords, Brightio. And I said about cheating or whatever. Now, the Seven of Swords can be seen as abandonment, being abandoned, betrayal, dishonesty, someone that's that's done a runner, that an affair here. And maybe this is what you're really trying to understand here. Okay, let's clarify that Seven of Swords. Because I said I couldn't see what was there, but it was hiding and I didn't see it, so it's my bad. Let's do that again. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. The Eight of Pentacles. Do you want the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles? The Eight of Swords in Reverse, the Nine of Swords in Reverse, and the Ten of Swords in Reverse. I love that. I'm really glad they came out in Reverse for you. I feel like what Spirit is saying is, work, you know, you're working really hard on yourself, okay? You may even be work overworking to keep your, your mind occupied, and sometimes that's not really a good idea because maybe you're trying to block out the pain okay and spirit is asking you to maybe look after yourself a little bit more go on holiday if that's what you know have a little break go on a little trip don't overdo it you know write things down get some self-help books i sound like a bloody um self-help guru or something but uh, you know i'm not <laughs> because you're dealing with the seven of swords so keep working on yourself, but don't overdo it, okay? Take care of yourself. The, like I said, I'm so happy to see these three cards coming out in reverse because if they were the other way around, this is you guys really not being in a good place. I mean, and maybe at one time, you know, you was in this energy of the Nine of Swords, the Eight of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the betrayal, the pain, the mental anguish, all that that comes with it. But this is now what you see where you're working on yourself here or you keep working on yourself in a healthy way. The Eight of Swords is you literally finding that freedom that release it literally could be spirit saying this is what needs to be released okay to find that freedom spirit also wants you to realize the escape that you had you don't see it right now group two but maybe you do but you had a lucky escape 
because sometimes when we think about it and our, if our partner goes off and cheats on us, I see it as like they didn't they didn't win. They won the booby prize, basically, because if they're going to do and not not everyone, I'm not tiring everyone with the same brush. But if they're going to cheat on you, they're going to cheat on the other person. They're going to disrespect them the same way they disrespected you. And this is what spirit wants you to see. You escaped something here. There is light at the end of the tunnel with this nine of swords. You just don't see it. You're you're nearly there. This betrayal, this painful ending, you're you're nearly at the end of that. Okay. You just gotta look up. Look look up slightly and realize um what you have right now and why it happened. So the Ten of Swords is you rising above those haters, rising above that pain, okay, and escaping ruin because the Ten of Swords, um, the, sorry, the, t the Tower is, is literally something that gets ruined, but it could have been a lot worse than what you now are going through, okay? You could have been in a worse situation than what you are right now. You're just not seeing it. I hope that makes sense, guys. I really do hope I'm making a lot of sense. Yeah, you holding on to this, this person or this pain here. Have you noticed whoever's done this to you is, is hidden? We've not got anyone that's really come out yet. So what messages do you have? Maybe if spirit doesn't want to talk about it, your spirit guides, because maybe they see it as, a, as irrelevant, you know, not dragging up the past. But let's have a look. So what else would you like to tell group two? Three of wands. Four of wands. And the five of wands. Tell me about the uh, five of wands. Oh, I used to play that game. I don't know whether some of you would remember this, but I know it was back when I, in the 80s. <laughs> I'm so freaking old. That was when you got the elastic bands. And um, God, we all used to play it out in the playground and outside because we never had computers and things like that then. And then like you have to like push it through and then it's there go. Maybe some of you guys will remember that if you're from the 80s, okay? Because like I'm old. Um, and I don't, I've never seen anyone play that since. Shit. <laughs> anyway, tell me about the five of wands. I got excited there. It was like, oh, childhood memories. There was even that one where you get the elastic bands and you put it around your ankles and you start off at the bottom. And then I used to be really good at that. And then you've got to jump inside, outside, and then you land on it and then it goes up the person's body. So yeah, I was really good at that one. Maybe some of you remember that. God. All right, we've got the King of Wands, the Lovers. Yeah, I thought as much. Three of Cups. And the Empress. So this energy here could have got someone pregnant, so trigger warning, okay? May have got someone pregnant. That's why I wanted to clarify that, that you may have actually been in a serious relationship with this person. You may have even been married to this person because I said about divorce and an affair here. And you're still yearning and pining for this person, yearning for what was. But what Spirit wants you to see here is that maybe you guys were fighting a lot, you know, you weren't getting on. But also five of wands can mean a rival when it comes to business or love. And and this is what spirit wants you to maybe not avoid, not bury this, you know, face it head on. Because my three of cups and if the three of swords was here as well, this is a third party situation. Someone, someone came in in between you and this person. So we have Gemini and we have Leo Aries Sagittarius as well. 
you know, it's totally understandable that you guys have had your heart broken if this is the case, okay? And it's like, I don't know what you're doing here, group two, but it's like you're, some of you, okay, this is a message for some of you. It's like you're waiting for this person to, to maybe come back, you know, to see you for who you are, I don't know, is to, to maybe reconcile. And I feel like this is what Spirit wants you to let go of here. What is this advice here, Spirit? The Strength card in reverse and the Two of Swords in reverse. Three of Swords, there it is, third party situation. Five of Pentacles, the Devil. You guys, your spirit guides are saying, you know, that you guys are really very, very, very vulnerable at the moment. And that's what you've got to take care of, you know, take care of you. I suppose that's why spirit was saying about there is light at the end of the tunnel. You've had a lucky escape here. But you doubt yourself so much. It's like you keep going backwards and forwards of, especially with the Two of Swords of, you know, was it my fault? Did I not give enough? Was I not loving enough? This, that, the other. And it's like you're punishing yourself here and Spirit's asking you, please stop doing that. It's nothing to do with you at the end of the day. Stop doubting yourself. Stop, um, st even down to the point I feel like with you guys, you may end up really bashing yourselves because you see this as a weakness as well. Or when it comes to this person, they're like a weakness to you. You know? This this energy here is very weak-minded. Very egotistical as well because... I suppose that's what your spirit guides want you to see here. It is nothing to do with you. But I feel like you are really, really struggling. You know, maybe you... You know, maybe you relied on this person, like maybe you were codependent on them, so maybe you weren't working, you know, and now you're having to scrimp and scrape. This person may have literally just cut you off and no, no explanation, no nothing. You know, maybe you guys are finding it really hard to pay your bills. So it's like you've got all this, you know, in... It's like everything is just being lumped on you and I feel like maybe that's why you're very, really, really vulnerable and you feel very weak and maybe you don't feel strong enough but you are strong. And it could be causing a lot of delays as well and setbacks for you guys as well, group two, you know, when it comes to you healing, moving on. And we have the uh, devil energy here. This is what your spirit guys want you to know is that this could literally be you. Maybe it's the way you sp you speak to yourself here, you know, where we doubt ourselves, we put ourselves down and it becomes very negative. It's all this negative thinking, you know, but you're blaming yourself. And I, I feel like spirit literally wants you to stop blaming yourself for this, this third party situation here, guys. So we have Leo, we have Capricorn. Yeah. Let's see what advice Spirit wants to give you. What advice would you give Group 2? What advice would you give Group 2? We not have that many, please. Let's do that again. What advice would you give group two? I'll oh, sod you. Just a couple. Okay, that's better. So we've got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, the High Priestess, the Five of Cups, the Six of Cups, and the King of Pentacles.
you're going through some financial problems here. I feel like quite serious financial problems. And it's like you're having to rebuild again. And maybe you've been out of work for a long time. Like I said, maybe you were codependent on this person. You know, maybe it's that you made some poor choices when it came to money. Maybe it was your money and this person's ended up taking it all away from you as well. You know, because the Ten of Pentacles coming out in reverse can be like financial disaster, okay? Like really, really struggling here. And Spirit is saying to you, you need to start trusting yourself, okay? Believing in yourself with the High Priestess here because you are not it's it's not a disaster at the end of the day you can rebuild again but what's happening here with the five of cups is like you know you are trying to piece everything back together your life back together but the past keeps getting in the way of you doing this here because you know you're in the energy of feeling like unwanted and neglected and unloved and this this pain of this five of cups here but you don't see how worthy you are you don't see that you know that you can there is something here, okay? You can either go back to the past. Maybe that's why I remembered so, when I saw that about talking about childhood here. There's something here that, you know, you may have literally created something. You know, maybe you're an artist or something like that. Can make you money. Something from the past that you could be doing for yourself here. Maybe it's just going back to work. Maybe you quit a job from the past. And maybe you feel like, oh, you know, I'm too old. I can't go back, you know. Oh, I'm too scared and that kind of thing. And Spirit is saying, stop, stop with that now. You have a good business brain here is what your spirit guides are saying. But I feel like this whole thing here, this everything that happened to you, which is understandable, group two, is affecting your finances, affecting your, your career choices or, you know, where you want to go in life, what you want to do. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. Wow. And I said it in group one. The world is your oyster. There could be something here that you literally could be doing something online. You know, like selling something online, doing YouTube, doing like Insta, whatever. There is something here that can make you a lot of money and it's something from your past. It's just you guys figuring out what it was that could actually really make you a lot of money guys this chapter has ended i know that's really really painful but your spirit guys want you to know this this chapter is ended don't wait around don't let this person um affect your future here group two you know and what i said about Right at the beginning of your reading, this Angel Rose card, I said to you, these lessons that you've gone through are actually blessings. And you had that with those sword cards there when I said about escaping ruin, escaping pain, this, that, the other. This is what Spirit wants you to see. So let's get you some oracle cards. I do want to get you some of these. So messages from group two spirit guides. So you have, wow, money and achievement. So it says the money tree of your dreams will flourish, bearing fruit in the form of financial success and abundance. And there it is again. It's clarified what I said. wisdom your destiny is grand uh, is a grand tapestry and each experience adds to new thread of wisdom and growth wow see that group two it is your tapestry hopefully you guys know what that is it's one of those things that you hang like a bit like a cloth that you hang on a wall or whatever that's your everything that you've gained in life and will be gaining going forward is part of you know wisdom and knowledge and all that kind of thing and growing you know it's funny actually because i watched a reading there's one youtube well there's a couple of youtubers tarot readers that i absolutely love been watching them for years and um 
she did a what did she do ancestors it was and i thought oh let me have a little nosy i haven't watched a reading in ages because i don't like to do it for myself because you know i don't but anyway it basically was saying that the stuff that i've gone through through life how proud they are as the person that i've turned out to be because sometimes people can go down the wrong road you know we become bitter we become angry we you know we don't turn into nice people but i never over the years i've never allowed that to affect who i am okay so i'm still quite a very nice person i should hope so <laughs> so this is like what i'm getting from this here with this wisdom card here is that don't let this what happened to your group to turn you into someone bitter and angry and you know that kind of thing because that's not you all right let's do a few more wow some power of life you are a magnet for prosperity your thoughts and your actions are creating the life you desire keep your focus on success and it will come to you so basically keep those thoughts positive because where you're you're you know she's a black she's got black wings this is not a white angel at all this is like black is death you know something very painful ended for you guys okay and sometimes if we, our mind and our thoughts and everything are very negative, we attract negative things, you know. So Spirit wants you to get positive. Remember something from your past. Get going with this, this creation or whatever it is, this idea that you may have had and just put it on the back burner because, you know, maybe you guys had a family and everything and you were concentrating on all that. That's where your focus was lying at one time. So now the focus should literally be on you. So let's get some messages from your spirit guides from these ones. Some messages for, for group two from their spirit guides. Okay, breathe. So the breath is the vital bridge between your body and soul. It's the connection between the inside and the outside, connecting you to the universe spirit um and the divine source the breath permeates your entire being and prana which is the same life-giving force that nourishes everything in the universe the spirit wants you your spirit guys want you to breathe nourish your body nourish your soul soul solitude your soul needs attention there is moments when it's important to get away not just from the noise and the outside world but to find a place where you your soul can experience peace and quiet a place for soul solitude this is a time to pause a time to reflect and a time for you exactly and it's like i said if you want to go on a little holiday have a little break that's what your ancestors was uh, not well, maybe your ancestors come through because i said it your spirit guides are uh, well, same thing really um is saying here study wow now i said at the beginning here you know maybe get yourself some books some self-help books maybe going back to school here you know to learn a craft that you wanted to maybe you you settled down really young and you had children very young and you never got to do what it was that you love doing group two this is what i'm saying something from your past okay so it says spirit has its own special way of letting you know that it's time to study again from time to time it's important to go back and learn wow whether that's learning old things and a new way of learning something totally new this is an opportunity to expand your mind brilliant it's clarified what i'm saying at the beginning something here you know maybe you guys want to learn fitness because i said about the the gym there as well maybe you guys want to do yoga or pilates you know that could be something that you can do online because there's loads of that online um you know maybe you want to be i don't know a gym gym instructor or whatever they're bloody well called <laughs> i don't know what they're called um something like that it's something from your past interesting so let's have a look at the haunted as well see what's haunting you so messages from group two spirit guides there's that solace again seat of solace taking time to be alone can renew your weary spirit create create a sacred space so that's come through twice now so maybe life has been really hectic, maybe you've had a lot of people around you, you know, you don't want to be alone because you don't want to be alone with your thoughts and we've all done that as well. But sometimes sitting in solace, sitting in quiet gets us to feel that pain, 
you know remember the things that happened to us so we can like close that chapter and move on have a good cry you know light and dark nurture the warmth of the lost passions into a new blaze revive dormant desires wow there it is again something here dormant desires a passion that you once had it's time to revive that i'm loving this for you group two restless spirit unresolved issues keep keep from finding true peace address them with what wow what haunts you this is actually what i was just saying it may be that you're trying to block out that pain and your spirit is becoming very restless. So it's time to face that now. It's time to embrace it. And like I said, have a good cry. You know, break a few things, your things, <laughs> if you want to go that far. So whirling winds. Amidst chaos, find your anchor in past experiences. Rise above the tour mill. Right, there it is again. And then you've got restful repose you let yourself observe with no judgment to see clearly thoughtful in action so basically stop blaming yourself this is what i was saying with the tarot there's something here that you you, you i feel like you're blaming yourself instead of literally but sometimes we shouldn't point blame at other people but really you really do need to be pointing the blame elsewhere guys and and then just laying it to rest okay that kind of thing Let's get some more messages from your spirit guides with these ones. So group two messages from two spirit guides. So you have self-awareness is key. Take time today to go within and spend time with your soul. Here we go again. Go for a, a walk in nature and ground yourself. Meditate, listen to your favourite music. Whatever you enjoy most, do that today. Your group is the same as group one. Spirit is literally just repeating the same thing to you to you guys because i feel like the message needs to really get through to you <sighs> those difficult times will pass nothing bad lasts forever the sun will shine again the birds will sing and the clouds will clear and you will be glad you kept moving forward you will soon be rewarded for your patience hold on you are far stronger than you think thank you like i'm thanking your spirit guides there this is literally what i said to you about two five minutes ago about you think you're not strong i don't think you know how strong you really are you know you've come through this and i feel like you've gone through a lot to start you know start seeing that guys okay and then you've got this one it's time to stop letting worry rule you instead get excited about your future and all that it will bring what energy and emotion you are putting out comes back to you That's what i said as well with a little conscious effort and your part that happy endings can and will be yours believe that i love your spirit guides they're really coming through to like i don't know really say it how, how it is so we're going to end on a good note here, group two, from your spirit guides as well. Some charms. So for group two, so you've got the ball and it says stubborn, uncompromising, stability and durability, wealth, riches and wealth. There it is again. So you guys could be a Taurus. Um, it could be that you're, being, you're very stubborn as well. You know, maybe that sometimes doesn't really help when we're stubborn. that for you guys why are you in there what are they oh my god now these these are not supposed to be in there and i did put them back properly but i don't know how they came out and it must be from your spirit spirit guides because look what we've got once again learning feeling tested with a situation searching for knowledge further education student discovering some truth so there that's literally what spirit has been saying I said it as well, you know, get some self-help books. Maybe it's time to go back to school, you know, get some books on what it is that you want to learn about. Maybe this situation is testing you and then you've got that one. Single life, living your best single life, working on yourself, becoming more self-reliant, not settling for, for a bad match. And what did I say right at the beginning? You guys could be going back to the gym, you know, getting in shape, exercising, self-help books, healthy eating, but don't overdo it, okay? Um, and don't do it because if this person put you down or whatever 
don't do it for them, do it for you. We've got grenade and it says explosive events, huge obstacles, enemies to confront conflict and arguments. Right. And that could literally be what has been going on with you. You know, everything is just like this grenade. Maybe you feel like a grenade ready to explode. And maybe that's what you've got to let out. The moon. Intuition, emotions, inner knowledge and divine feminine. So listen to your intuition. Listen to your dreams. Um, yeah, moon energy. Cage. Feeling trapped, desiring freedom, unhealthy inner life, oppressive environment. And this is what's the problem here. You you literally feel like you're in a cage and this is what you need to break out of, okay? You're not trapped by your circumstances. This is what your spirit guides want you to, to know here, okay? Maybe you desire a bit more freedom. Like I said, maybe you're having to penny pinch at the moment. But things that are going to really look up for you. Look what you've got, magic lamp. Wish fulfillment, hidden magic, manifesting your hopes and your wishes. So whatever you're wishing for, group two, keep wishing it because it's going to happen. So let's get you an angel number for group two, please, spirit. So you have 1616, angel of expression, Franos, Franos, I don't know. Phronos amplifies your voice. Speak your truth. Express through art and let the world hear your unique perspective. Communication, artistry and voice. Now, so to you, it could be something online here that you know that you can... Or, I don't know. There's something here that you should be expressing yourself and this angel's helping you here. So, if you want more on 1616, go on the internet. So, it's question time, group two. Any question you want to ask, ask spirit right now. So, for group two... So we've got in June, um, in July, um, what you are asking about may require to take a leap of faith. This is this is the time to trust, and you've got in December as well. Be gentle with yourself and enjoy every step you take, so you may observe the little things that easily go unnoticed. So, my loves, thank you so much for staying and watching. Um, appreciate you all. Um, if you're new here and you like my content, please consider subbing. I'd love to have you and you guys, wherever you are. You have a beautiful day. Much love. Hey, group three. So if you chose the dragon trainer, so it's very interesting. This is. So with you, group three, your messages from your spirit guides are. Um, how can I explain this? So basically, if you're looking for a promotion or something at work here. Um, there may be something here that you can learn more about, okay? Maybe going back to school. But there's something here as well that, that you're, for some of you, you may be hiding a talent. And Spirit is asking you to share that talent with other people. So let's have a look what this is about because you're kind of, maybe some kind of trainer or you're a trainer in the making, if you know what I mean. So let's have a look. Tap me into group three, please, Spirit, and tell me about um, this Dragon Trainer card. What is this message from the Spirit Guides? Six of Swords. Okay. Six of Pentacles. In, yeah, look, you're not sharing. Maybe you... Sometimes we don't like to share our gift with others, okay? We don't like to show how it's done to other people because we feel like it's ours and we don't want people copying us, which is totally understandable, Group 3. It really, really is. But this is the problem right here. The Eight of Wands, communication, sharing, you know, taking action here. Um, Six of Swords. You know, everything is going fine for you. I can see that for you guys. You know, if it's going exactly how you want it to go, but it can go even better. You know, you can take it to the next level here. 
But then for some of you as well, you know, maybe you're in a working environment here as well where you're working so much but you're not getting any reward for it and you've had some different ideas and you don't really want to share it with this company because you feel like, you know, you know what, I don't think you deserve this. I may take it myself and do it myself and I can do it better. So you need to say what resonates here because I'm seeing quite a few messages coming through right here. Tell me about this... Um, Tell me about this Six of Pentacles in Reverse and this Eight of Wands. Two of Cups. Wow. This is amazing, actually, because you've got the three of cups, you've got the fall. Look at all them gems coming out of that box. Then you've got the magician. And then you've got the three of wands. And if you see the magician here, the magician's actually got uh, crystals as well. And, you know, the, the snake is all about shedding that old skin. Maybe something needs to be shed here. Something needs to be get gone, you know. And it's like... You know, maybe you've discussed this with friends and stuff and um, maybe your friends have told you to do it, but maybe you've not had the guts to do it. Maybe your friends have told you not to do it, that kind of thing. But everything in life is a risk and it's like you're sitting there and you're, it's like you just, it's like your spirit guide saying what you're waiting for. <laughs> you know, you can manifest a really beautiful beginning here a new beginning here if you take this leap of faith here take a risk because the fall is all about risk there is something here that you i mean this this is a blur so it's like something you want to create and now it's time to turn those visions into reality and you are very capable of doing this So maybe it is you guys being a teacher, you know, teaching others to, you know, I don't know what it is that you guys do. I can't see it, but maybe it's just been an idea that's been floating around in your head and your spirit guides are saying you need to be sharing this with other people instead of keeping it to yourself. Maybe you feel embarrassed about it, whatever it is. Don't be embarrassed. This is something that you hold really dear to your heart. And it does bring you a lot of joy and it's something you really, really do love. But you're scared. So you're looking for this change and um, yeah, I wonder what this is. It's really interesting, Group Free. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more about the, I mean, this could be your soul calling as well, you know, like your, like a soul contract or your soul is calling you to do this, you know, when you get that, you keep thinking about it and you can't stop thinking about it and, and you're like, well, no, I don't know. Maybe spirits asking, your spirit guys are asking you here to maybe talk to some friends here about, you know, maybe get a bit of advice. Tell me about, um, this magician. The Eight of Cups in reverse. Now, that's very, that's interesting. You know what's holding you back, Group Three? Fear. You're stuck because of fear. You're stuck, you, you basically fear moving on. You know, maybe there is a fear here of maybe, you know, people are not going to like me, you know, maybe people are not going to like what I've got to offer. Maybe you're fearful of going back to school and learning a new craft and everything that comes with it. You know, maybe you're sitting there thinking I'm too old, you're never too old to do anything. But something here, you know, if this Eight of Cups was up right now, we're telling you you're ready for this magician, you're ready for your manifestations here, this new beginning with the fall and everything, because you've walked away from a situation which I do feel like it is that Six of Pentacles, where you work so hard, but you don't get anything back in return. It's like you're just, you're just doing the same old thing every single day. But because it's reversed, it's saying you fear, you're too scared. 
What advice would you give group three with this eight of cups in reverse? <clears throat> Seven of wands in reverse and the knight of wands. Wow, I absolutely love these cards. They're so pretty. Fox. Okay, how can I take this from what your spirit guides are saying here now? We're clarifying the Eight of Cups and this is fear of releasing something, letting go of something and walking away. So you remain stuck. Now that Seven of Wands in reverse is literally your spirit guide saying, it's time to quit. Is it time to quit is what they're saying and you know this, but the, there's that fear there. Or is it spirit of saying, don't give up? Because the seven of wands is literally saying, is is when someone literally says, you know what, I'll give up, I'll give in. I, you know, I'm not going to do it. And that's that's the sad thing here. So you need to take what resonates here is that your spirit guys telling you now it's time to quit, to get excited about something. Because we do have the knight of wands and that's a really positive card. It depends on the certain readings that you get. But this is like a... You are free spirit. This is all about passion and creativity here. And are you really going to give that up? I feel like your spirit guides are quite sad, really. Is it because you're anxious? You know, is it anxiety that's, that's keeping you stuck in the situation that you're in? The environment that you're in? Tell me about this Knight of Wands. So we do have Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Tell me about this Knight of Wands. You are very clever. Foxes are clever, okay? And that's what your spirit guides want you to see. Oh, my goodness. Five of Swords and the Hierophant. Yeah, that's... that's um. That's quitting, guys. That's like literally, I'm not doing it. And maybe your friends have literally been, you know, friends or family have been trying to encourage you to do it, but you're like, I can't, I don't know, it's not going to work. La, 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 la. Maybe there's a part of you here that also feels like it would be too selfish to put yourself first because maybe you guys put everyone else first instead of literally yourself. But where, whatever you're doing right now, group three, you don't fit in is what your spirit, spirit guides are saying. And ours are all about wisdom, okay? And, you know, it is about learning, basically. And I don't know. You're, this is really sad. I feel like you've given something up here. But also, what Spirit is saying, your Spirit guides are saying here is, sometimes it's okay to throw in the towel, okay, and say, look, it didn't work out. Um, what's the worst that could actually happen? I mean, and I, I had that mindset when I started this. I mean, things are really, really slow still for me on, on YouTube. Don't ask me why. It's, you know, maybe people don't like my content, but or the way I do things, but that's okay, because I'm a stubborn bitch, and I'll keep going, <laughs> and like I always say to myself, if it don't work out, there's, at least I tried, you know, and that's okay, this is what your spirit guides want, to, want you to know, the Hierophant also is telling you here, what you're doing at the moment, where you are right now, you don't fit in, you fit in somewhere else, and, and once you realize whatever this is that you guys i feel like you're holding this to your close to your chest which is totally fine by me once you realize this you'll find that you finally fit you've missed you finally fi found that missing jigsaw piece okay and if you're worried there may be someone that's a lot more wiser a lot more older that's that can give you advice you know someone who's full of wisdom nearly burnt the house down so you know the page of swords as well also talks about going back to school learning reading up on something here you know 
if that's maybe you feel like you need a little bit more knowledge so what other messages do you have for group um free and we have taurus the devil why the devil this is where negative thinking comes into it it's it's just all negative thinking king of cups and the ace of swords yeah negative thinking and, and i feel like that's what your spirit guides are asking you to stop doing because we literally have the sun as well Because we, we, we tend to, um, when we think negatively all the time, we end up in that like either victim mentality, my, like mindset, or we feel like everything is doom and gloom and we're not going to be able to do it and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, and that's what literally takes over our mind and we're not really seeing things clearly here when it comes to the bigger picture. And I feel like that's what your spirit guides are asking. As you see with this sun energy here, it's time to stop thinking the way of the devil energy here. Okay. Um, and start embracing this, this material success, this material happiness. And with the sun as well, guys, that, that you don't realize the joy that you will experience once you've done this. That's a part of you, your spirit guides are saying that needs to be healed here. Love yourself. Why are you not showing yourself compassion and some love here? Instead of thinking this way of the devil energy. See the truth for what it is, okay? The, the Ace of Swords is all about mental strength. It's all about ideas. It's all about a new job. Um, and mental clarity. And truth. But I feel like this is what your your uh, spirit guides are trying to actually communicate to you. This here, because this is communication. Tell me more about the Ace of Swords. Yeah, Ten of Swords. You guys, I feel like you may fear... Um, oh, what is it? You may fear failure. Is that something from your childhood? There is it may also be you know sometimes when we end something we move on it can be quite painful for us as well because we're in that fear that mindset of have i ruined everything is everything going to go wrong and you know maybe that's the mindset you are in right here it's like this negative thinking constantly thinking negatively about ourselves about our situation and that and that's what spirit is asking you to stop doing because we do have the six of wands and death this has got to stop six of wands is you six of wands are beautiful energy it's victory it's reward it's recognition okay it's a you being the boss at the end of the day because that's boss energy right there it's time to move on it's time to let go death is all about endings big changes okay you know moving on to something bigger and better and that is the six of wands why why is the ten of swords here spirit for group three seven of swords right something's happened to you here What about Seven of Swords and Ten of Swords? There was a betrayal here, the Hermit, that you still... Maybe you don't... Oh, maybe you don't talk about it. Maybe you've kept it buried. Maybe someone told you you couldn't do it because the Seven of Swords is a very sneaky energy here. But it's also, you know, let's, let's come off the sneaky energy. I mean, maybe you did go for a painful ending. Something very, very painful. So what happens is we're in the mindset of let's just avoid this. I'm just going to keep running away from the inevitable. But you keep getting pulled back to 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 this situation here. I feel like you get messages. 
you may see synchronicities like messages from the universe you know like seeing numbers the same old numbers maybe something on telly blah 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 and you keep getting dragged back into facing this I feel like your spirit guides are very very upset because you should, this gift here or this this talent of yours should not be hidden and the hermit all speaks about going within okay Spending time on our own. Finding the truth. Because it is all about truth. So we do have Virgo and we do have Scorpio as well. Let's get some Oracle cards now. So messages for group. That was quick. Group three. So we have Crystal Ball and Fate. The crystal ball of your life shows a future allied with love laughter and countless blessings embrace it with open arms and that's what you're missing out on then we have crown royalty wow with a heart full of positivity and a mind full of hope you are destined for greatness good luck on your path jesus guys your spirit guides are really really being quite um firm here in look at that that's such a beautiful card you're crowned for royalty after, and you know, you have the six of wands as well. You have the sun as well. You just don't see it. Serpent destruction in the battle of light versus darkness. Remember that light always prevails. Stay strong and difficulties will be overcome. And that's the sun, you know, dark light. And there's death again. So you have skull and rebirth. In the cycle of life, your birth was just the beginning and your rebirth shall be the next captivating chapter. Oh, I love that for you. Whatever it is, group three, do it. Please, please stop like holding back and doubting yourself here. Because it's a waste, okay? Let's get some messages from your spirit guides as well from these this deck. Vulnerability. This is confirmation that you are seeking a thread into the unknown, unfamiliar territory where decisions are based more on intuition than rationality. Don't let fear hold you back or allow a misguided sense that feeling vulnerable is something a uh, something that is a negative condition. Oh my goodness, group three. Okay, what else? Just ask. There are many here in the spirit world that can assist you this time. We are made up of the divine source. Your loved ones, friends, guides, angels and spirit helpers are who are waiting to assist you. We are your spiritual team and all you have to do is ask for help and guidance. And this is actually that read, this reading today. So ask for their guidance, ask for their help. They're wanting to help. Let's get one more. Oh my God. Let's do that again. Group three. Oh my God. <laughs> There's that study again. Every power has had study today. So spirit has its own special way of letting you know that it's time to study again. From time to time, it's important to go back and learn. Whether that's learning old things and a new way of learning something totally new, this is an opportunity to expand your mind. And this is the thing. You may have to go back to school, you know, school or, or go and learn this thing that you've wanted to, you know, do, get a, like to get a bit more experience or whatever. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, like I said, maybe you guys feel like you're too old. It's not going to happen. This, that, the other. This is all negative thinking. And this is just for group free from their spirit guides. So sit in silence. Oh, you've got four. Okay, so sit in silence for a moment and listen. So that's the, the Hermit card again. The answers you have been seeking are finally coming to you. Truly trust and believe that you are going to make it and be exactly where you need to be. We are on this journey with you. Hang in there. It's not much longer. 
and then you have learn to ride the waves of life when faced with difficult times you can either fight against the current or go with it so ask yourself what what is to be gained by depleting your energy and fighting against it don't do that to yourself and then we have we see that you are on the brink of a breakthrough that you have patiently been waiting for a situation is about to come full circle the lessons have been learned this is a win-win situation for you trust that we are working behind the scenes to ensure the uh ensure the best outcome for you and then the last one is you are being your you are doing your best and that is enough any difficulties you face will not last forever release the thoughts and feelings that don't feel good there it is again focus all of your energy on love happiness and your hopes and dreams nice one okay so we're going to get the haunted echoes to see what's what's haunting you and obviously what needs to be released so messages from group free spirit guides Reaching hands, you've got reaching hands, offer and accept help well, to foster and sh foster a shared strength, strength and bond. So, like I said, is there someone here that you can talk to? Maybe get some advice from friends that, that are already doing this. It, you know, help also comes in the form of your spiritual team, which you've obviously had that just now. Rest in place. All things are temporary and comfort in the present. Contemplate the moment. Right, so maybe take a rest. Hidden shadows. Venture into, into a dark memory where light can heal. Acknowledge pain. That's that ten of swords again, guys, and that seven of swords. There is something here, a memory that you may have literally just wanted to push away. Something maybe from your childhood maybe abandonment issues you know there's something here that's holding you back that you lack confidence when it comes to believing in yourself okay so this is what this your spirit guides are saying here something from a memory where light can heal acknowledge that pain so only you guys will know what that is dancing spec spec Spectres, release what holds you back um, to break on through. Let go of mistakes. Yeah, that's the thing as well. We we all got to make mistakes in life. It's part of being human. So we're gonna end on a good note, guys, and we're gonna get some. Oh, what are these called charms from your spirit guides as well. So charms for group three. Got that? What's that? Did that flip? No. is that a clover no a pan don't look like clover so gentle strength personal boundaries nourishment peaceful life there you go oh, i don't think so <laughs> so for group three chair wait take no action not the right time holding back and avoiding there it is again what are you waiting for that's literally what i said to you what your spirit guides are saying why do you keep holding back why are you taking no action maybe you feel like it's not the right time maybe you keep saying to yourself it's not the right time and they are all excuses that we find because of this fear you know that we have of the unknown or new beginnings that kind of thing now, I did mention that as well about avoidance with uh, the Seven of Swords as well, you know, running away. And then we have chess, being st strategic, thinking it through, power of the mind, a battle is unfolding. And that's the thing, your spirit guides are saying to you, you know, think things through. It's all about power, you know, the mind here, power of the mind. And our mind is a very very powerful thing especially when we think negatively we attract negative things we think positively we attract positive things so you know knife betrayal disguised hidden enemies angry outbursts mm, there's that betrayal again cut deep something did you did you wrong someone something whatever did you wrong okay and that is literally what you still hold on to maybe someone stole the idea and maybe you think that you know I don't want to be accused of copying and even though it was my idea um but sodom 
it was yours to begin with. And then we have steps, step-by-step -step approach, taking action, first steps to success, pursue. So take the first step and take baby steps, you know. So let's get you an angel number. So angel number for group three. Jesus, your cards are just flying out. So we're taking that one that flipped over. So free, 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 angel of destiny, Metatron. Metatron presence suggests you are aligning with your soul's purpose stay attuned to the evolution within you as you are on a path of spirit, spiritual ascension evolution life purpose ascension now that is very weird that you got that angel number so question time group three any question you want to ask spirit ask away now so for group three spirit Wow, in the works now. So the decisions you've made have led you to this moment. So my loves, thank you so much for staying and watching. I do appreciate you all. I know I say that all the time, but I'm going to keep saying it, so I don't care. So anyway, if you're new here and you like my content, please consider subbing. I'd love to have you and you guys, wherever you are, you have a beautiful day and good luck with this as well, Group Free. I really do hope you pursue this, whatever this is, because, you know, I'd love to know what it is actually, but... Anyway, good luck. Much love.